The Yorkshire Cup is next. It's another Group 2. And it's over a mile and three quarters this time for the older horses. And at the top, Al Manzor for Dan Hughes. Horridge Marchie for Leon van Rensburg. October Tiger. Graham Clutterbuck. Shipton Gorge. Darren Thompson. Hidden Stats. Craig Allen. October Bay. Graham Clutterbuck. Quality Street. David Hooley. Sealed his fate. Joshua Sutherland. Timora Finisterre for David Robertson. And Wheel of Fortune for Craig Beckwith. So 10 in this then. Ooh, patiently waiting to go, and away we go. A mile and three quarters of the trip, and seal his fate. Looks like it's going to be the first one to show. Horridge Marchie on the inside of that one, and Almanzor on the rail. They're the leading three then, as they settle down. And Horridge Marchie is just about leading an arrow formation at the moment from seal his fate and Almanzor. And the Wheel of Fortune, and October Tiger. October Bay is also in there as well. So plenty of October's about for Graham Clutterman. One in each of his sets of silks. And the Bay is in second. Whereas the Tiger is at the back. But it's Horridge Marchy who's just about the leader. From Shipton Gorge up the centre of the track who's now coming through to dispute the lead with the Leon van Rensburg charge. After that one is October Bay, Wheel of Fortune He's widest on the track, but close up to the lead. Also on that one's inside, Hidden Stance. And see his fates just dropped back a little bit. October Tiger is after that one. Almanzor is next on the inside. Going to try and get a nice run up the inside there. And the back marker at the moment is Tamora finished there. But that one's no more than eight lengths off the lead. And it's Horridge March who's got that lead, leading by two and a half. With a line of about five of them sharing second. It's all about Wheel of Fortune and Tamora finished there. And they're disputing the back position. But like I say, they're only a few lengths off the lead. And Horridge Marchi is in front with seven furlongs. Still in a race from Almanzor, who's now moved through into second. And he looks like he's been driven up to take much closer order, which has indeed made a few of the others make a forward move as well. Most notably, October Bay and sealed his fate. Also, shipped and gored around the outside. That's caught hidden stance. October Tiger. And Quality Street a little bit flat footed, a footed along with Wheel of Fortune and Tamora finished there as well. But it's still Horridge marching in the lead, and as they begin to make this long sweeping turn into the Long York Strait, and it's Horridge marching in the lead from Almanzor, sealed his fate. Now coming around the outside, October Bay, Shipton Gorge is trying to run on, so is October Tiger. Tamora finished there, is weaving its way through from the back, and it looks to be going ominously well. But it's Horridge Marchy who's in the lead, still by two lengths to October Bay in second, then Almanzor shipped and gorged to Mora finished there he's still getting closer, he's now moving into a share of second, but Horridge marches in the lead, Horridge marches in front then from to Mora finished there shipped and gorged, then October Bay Almanzor and sealed his fates after that one got back then to October Tiger but they've got to get to this Horridge march as they race inside the final furlong and a half it's Horridge marching still three clear of to Mora finished there in second shipped and gorged in third, the lead is just coming back to them a little bit as they hit the Furlong pole, and it's going to be Horridge Marchy. Tamora finished there, is beginning to get up on the outside. Tamora finished there, he's going to take it. Tamora finished there, wins it from Shipton Gorge. Still his fate, October by Almanzor. Hidden stance, and Tamora finished there, weaved its way through. It looked like Horridge Marchy was going to hang on, but in the end, Tamora finished there, takes it by a good length and a half. And I don't even think that the long time leader ended up in the money. So it's Tamora finished there, the winner for David Robertson. Shipton Gorge second for Darren Thompson. Sealed his fate for Joshua Sutherland third. Almanzor for Dan Hughes fourth. And October Bay for Graham Clutterbuck was fifth. So Horridge Marsh a long time leader and looked like it was still going to win inside the final half. And ended up finishing out of the money in sixth.